Much has been said about the technological advances in the space sector. Some scientists believe that rocket fuel is less harmful now than it was several years ago, and others agree that arrival times at stations have been reduced thanks to improvements in engines. Thanks to all these changes, the industry is one of the most innovative and exciting today. But what if we could implement this knowledge in areas such as transport? Do cars have what it takes to take advantage of rocket technology? Would all vehicles benefit from it, or would it only be a useful accessory for some models? We know that many scientists have talked about the possibility of changing the way cars work to make them more friendly to the environment and the ozone layer. However, there are still few who drive hybrid or electric cars. The good thing for us is that, with the airplanes you have, you will have to see a major change in those vehicles. Something that could convince people to be inclined to drive these types of models. It's time to learn more about it. One of the most notorious advances that has been present in the space race are batteries. Due to their composition and the fact that their charge must last a good part of the time, the engineers and scientists in charge of bringing these accessories to life will experiment with various components in order to lengthen the life of the batteries and improve their performance. The result? Nickel-hydrogen batteries that can be used in the space sector because of their resistance to charge and discharge cycles without degrading. In addition, these objects can operate independently of the surrounding temperature, which is undoubtedly a breakthrough in the energy sector. As we know, for a long time, the quality of batteries had been sought to improve in order to reduce their manufacturing and protect the environment. Now, thanks to these special batteries, the Evervenue brand has set its sights on them, while ensuring that these accessories can be used in the manufacture and operation of electric vehicles. For those who do not know, Evervenue is a startup originally from the United States. They are dedicated to the research and creation of clean energies, and while they seek to manufacture a battery free of polluting components, they have come up with what seems to be the perfect formula that combines mobility and high charging capacity. Nickel hydrogen batteries have become their star product, and although they have only been used in space missions, the company assures that they can be adapted to the automotive sector. Evervenue says they have found a way to make the manufacture of these batteries more affordable. So, they have put on the table the possibility of selling their product to several brands in the automotive industry, along with companies involved in stationary energy storage. With 5 gigawatt hours accumulated, the Fremont-based company says it will begin production of the ordered batteries later this year. Today, lithium batteries are the most widely used batteries in mobile and electronic devices. Although they have proven that they can fulfill their function, in the long run they show significant wear and tear, and have even been known to damage household appliances as a result of this problem. In the case of electric vehicles, these also use lithium batteries, but they are special and often have extra components that are different from the commercial ones. Even so, they are not the best, since they offer limited energy for their weight and final volume. Also, their life cycles are short, and the percentage of reuse and recycling rises to exaggerated costs. For this reason, although many companies rely on lithium batteries, research on the subject has not stopped. Although testing has yielded positive results for nickel-hydrogen batteries, science continues to seek to improve energy storage systems. In some cases, specialists have sought to modify the chemistry of the components, adding additives or electrolytes from various natural sources. In others, they have sought to expand energy storage without sacrificing the portable system. Yes, many experiments have been carried out in the sector, but what all the scientists have made clear is that they are looking to innovate with their ideas, while planning to create a substitute for lithium-based charging banks. As far as is known, batteries made with nickel and hydrogen are devices that are still perceived as strange. Their unique characteristics and their application in the space industry have earned them a reputation as high-end products. Similarly, the burpeted storage capabilities, such as resistance to degradation, tolerance to charge cycles, power protection, and more, have caused many experts to doubt the company's ability to convert these wonders into batteries for use in vehicles. Other stacks with similar characteristics to Evervenue were produced and manufactured in previous years, but their costs were not economically viable and they were soon scrapped. Therefore, it is not surprising that, with the appearance of this special battery that's able to withstand high temperatures, some engineers and brands doubt them and what the company offers. 
We're halfway through the video, and before we get into batteries, we'd like to ask you about the components behind the technology. Do you think it's a good idea to adapt cars to accept nickel hydrogen batteries? Or from your point of view, do you think it's better to continue testing with other materials? If you already went for something to continue enjoying the note, let's continue. One of the problems highlighted by commercial companies is that nickel hydrogen batteries must be stored in a container capable of withstanding up to 82.7 bar of pressure. Making such a container is an unnecessary expense for them, so many consider their applications not worthwhile. On the other hand, it is known that the energy density of nickel hydrogen batteries is lower than that of lithium ion batteries. So more batteries are required inside the vehicle to compensate for this decrease in charge. These and other factors are responsible for the lack of consideration of such a battery car, which continues to relegate Evervenue batteries to the International Space Station, Mars Odyssey, and Mars Global Surveyor. Despite the company's recent claims that they have found ways to reduce production and storage costs to make them more convenient, it looks like it will be a long time before any brand or model gives this new energy source a chance. We can only hope that those 5 gigawatt hours in orders confirm the news that the containers have been adapted to 1.2 kilowatt hours, and the backup system has achieved over 85% efficiency during charge and discharge cycles. If Everview has really succeeded, it is certain that they will soon need a mega factory to continue production. And with that advice, we close this video. As you can see, the Evervenue company seems to have most of the situation under control. Thanks to the research and testing that it's done, it is safe to say that there is already a theoretical background on the subject, which could eventually lead to the assembly of the first automotive batteries, which in turn would begin formal testing. Although several people have shown their enthusiasm for the subject, we would like to ask you, what do you think about the use of space technology in the automotive sector? Do you think it's still too early to try to incorporate such powerful advances in vehicles? Or do you think it's time to do so? Comment your thoughts on the topic, and if you have any suggestions for future content, we're reading them. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Remember to leave your thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.